Hello and welcome to Car Talk from National Public Radio with us, Click and Clack, the Tappert Brothers. And we're broadcasting this week from the Department of Broad Appeal here at Car Talk Plaza. Well, this is a very interesting story. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Am I going <laughs> to? If I said I weren't ready, would it make a difference? No. Okay, go ahead. Then. <laughs> well, this is a, no, a letter we got. Dear Tom and Ray, I'm a Schwann's food delivery driver. I don't know what that is. Working in rural Minnesota. Today, while listening to your show, I visited one of my customers who raises sheep. She didn't appear to be home, so I just lazily left the truck running with semi-intelligible car advice still audible through the doors. That's us. I guess, yeah. I noted somewhat lazily, then again, I do just about everything somewhat lazily, that the sheep were making their way from the pasture towards the parking area. (laughs) What a good sign. (laughs) (laughs) Well, my customer was home after all, and after taking her order, I returned outside to find every single one of the sheep at the front gate, all staring at my truck. But it wasn't until I opened the door, letting your voices fully into the air, that they all started bleating excitedly. (laughs) If you've never heard this sound, it's like a bunch of underpaid voice actors shouting, Bah! (laughs) Anyway, this is a real letter. Anyway, for whatever reason, you command great interest from the Minnesota sheep population. And I thought you should know. Sincerely, Zach the Schwann's man. (laughs) All the sheep came to talk to us. Can well, you believe it? We, we, I I don't know if they if they were ex- <laughs> expressing delight or dismay. There was the fact that they were saying "ba." I mean, how do you? What's a "ba"? How do you interpret a "ba" <laughs> from a sheep? <laughs> <laughs> I think happiness. It could be happiness. It yeah. could be anger. It could be no, no fear. No, I think they were excited. I think it was the sound of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? How was it? <laughs> how does it feel to be liked by the ovine population? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see ten thousand sheep going "ba"? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> well, this is great. <laughs> well, maybe we're pioneering a new niche for NPR, the, the sheep audio market, right? <laughs> Dougie, call NPR. Tell them we want to raise. <laughs> <laughs> or at least a wool sweater or two. Anyway, if you have a question about your car or why farm animals are surrounding it while we're... Hello and welcome to Car Talk from National Public Radio. With us, Click and Clack, the Tappert Brothers. We're broadcasting this week from the Department of Ovine Studies here at Car Talk Plaza. We've been here before, haven't we? Yeah, (laughs) just recently, in fact. A few weeks ago, we got a letter from a delivery guy who was driving around listening to our show. Oh, yeah, I remember. And when he stopped to deliver some groceries, Mm -hmm. he left his truck running. When he came back, a flock of sheep was standing there <laughs> listening to our show. I remember. And when he opened the door so they could hear us more clearly, they all started bleating to beat the band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, as we know, a large subset of our audience has what? Squat to do, right? <laughs> so several of our listeners set out to investigate. Right. Like Rich Dringer, who writes as follows. I deliver to many small farms, and after hearing that story, I happened to have a package for one of them last weekend. As I handed the customer her box, I turned to go back to my van when I noticed her three sheep walking toward us. Hmm. She said it was strange that they came up so close because they were usually shy with strangers. You can guess where this is I think I can. (laughs) I had left my door open and could clearly hear you two guys talking. The three sheep were standing next to the open door. I kid you not. (laughs) The show then went to a break, and they wandered off back toward the barn. (laughs) I mean, if I hadn't seen it, I would not have believed it. Rich from Beckett, Massachusetts. (laughs) Confirmation. (laughs) The phenomenon is absolutely confirmed. Here's another loser, I mean listener, who takes the research one step further. Neil writes the following. Being an ex-employee of Laughing Sheep Farms in Lincoln, New Mexico, I decided to try an experiment. I recorded your show, went to the farm, and played the recording to the sheep. <laughs> Here's my observation. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's your laughter 
there was absolutely no notice by the sheep when you were analyzing a car problem. Of course not. Sheep don't drive. (laughs) But as soon as a quip or one liner or a clever retort was given, a little laughter would ensue. That laughter would perk up those little sheep ears, and they would approach the speaker and start bleeding back. (laughs) That's from Neil. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) I guess Neil thinks our laughter sounds like sheep bleeding. Well, I don't think he's trying to cast any aspersions or anything. You know, he's just observed that when we started laughing, the sheep all came over and tried to rescue the two sheep who were stuck in the speakers. (laughs) (laughs) You think we sound like sheep? I don't. I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> I've been told that our crack staff has done some field recording. I think Mayor took a tape recorder out with him last night when he visited his hair. I mean his sheep. And let's hear what uh, what they brought back. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't discern which of the sheep and which, <laughs> which was us. Which, which was, can we hear it one more time? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's you. That's you again. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm convinced. Look, if you have a question about your car or the strange behavior of your sheep, <laughs> Give us a call at 888-CAR-TALK. That's 888-227-1800.